Here we have a project that we would expect that would cost us $500 today to invest in. So that's a negative $500 cash outflow. But then we expect it to have positive cash outflows of these amounts for the next four years. How do we calculate the NPV for this project? Well, we can use this calculator which replicates the BA2+, the Texas Instruments Calculator, and we'll hit the CF button. And then first things first, we're going to want to hit second clear work just to make sure everything's out of there. And then for the CF0, that is the cash flow at time 0, we'll put in 500, negative, and then enter. So that is submitted for cash flow 0. Now for cash flow 1, we can see it's a $100 value, and we'll put in $100, enter. But... Now we see F01, that is the frequency of cash flow one. And because we can see we get $100 twice in a row, we can actually put this at two. So we'll hit enter, and now we'll go to cash flow two. So normally we would think that this is cash flow two, but because the last one had a frequency of two, now period three becomes cash flow two, which is $200, and we'll hit enter. And this one has a frequency of just one $200 payment. And then finally, we'll have a cash flow of $150, and we'll hit enter. Now we can go over to NPV, and then we'll have to put in our interest rate. So we're using an interest rate of 3%, so we'll hit 3, enter, and then the down arrow, and then compute. And we find a positive net present value of $7.64. And to calculate internal rate of return, IRR, we just hit the IRR button and then compute and find that our IRR for this project is 3.58%. Thank you for watching.